Here we're doing another example on shear stress and shear strain. In this example, we're going to show you the difference between the shear modulus and the shear stress. Okay, remember the shear modulus S, we use the letter S to indicate that, is an indication of how much the material resists deformation when it gets pushed in this particular manner. So when, let's say you push it on one edge and it's held on the other side, the whole thing will deform a certain amount of delta X relative to the height of the material and the size of the material, the cross-section area of that piece. And so the shear modulus S is defined as the shear stress divided by the shear strain. The equation for that is equal to the force divided by area, which of course is the definition of, of uh, stress, force divided by area, same units as pressure, divided by the shear strain, which in this case is the deformation, divided by the height of the material H. But a practical portion of that concept is the stress portion of it. For example, let's say we have a machine that feeds a big roll of a uh, sheet of metal, let's say steel. Let's say that the, the width of that material, uh, or in this case, I guess I indicated as the length of the material right here is 2.4 meters, about eight feet, and the thickness is two millimeters. And let's say a big machine comes in and lops off certain sections as this roll gets fed in, it comes down and, and lops it. How much force is required to shear off, and that's the term we use, to shear off a piece of metal like that? So therefore, for that, we need to know the shear stress. And the shear stress is defined as shear, ooh, and I misspelled that, shear is E-A like here. All right, so shear stress is defined as force divided by area. So if the shear stress of a material is given, and want we'll to know how much force is required, we simply have to multiply the area times the shear stress to find the force. So in this case, we know the force necessary is equal to the shear stress times the area of the cut. And the area of the cut will simply be the exposed part of the cut right here, which area would be the length times the thickness of the width. All right, so let's find out what that is for us here. The shear stress of the material we found was 4.0 times 10 to the 8 pascals, not to be confused with the shear modulus. And we multiply times the area, so it would be 2.4 meters, the length, and then the thickness is 2 millimeters, converted in meters is 0.002 meters. And so that would be the force required to cut off those pieces of metal like that. So let's find out. 4 e to the 8 times 2.4 times 0 0.002 equals, and wow, it's 1,920,000 newtons. So 1,920,000 newtons. Now it's a 4.48 pounds per newton, so we want to convert that to pounds, pounds and newtons. If I remember right, let's see, uh, one pound is 4.48 newtons. So let's divide that by 4.48 equals. So it's roughly about 428,571 pounds. So yeah, those machines need to be built pretty strong. Very strong cutting blade, very strong steel. A lot of force coming down, lopping out these sheets. But we have machines like that that do exactly that kind of thing. Big rolls of steel comes along, they cut off pieces with this big machine requiring a lot of force. But there's a very nice example of how we deal with stress and strain in the practical world.